thank you for inviting me back for this. It's a, certainly an honor to keep this thing going. Centers have lives of their own, and whether they lose the mission or that, but 30 years is a, some wonderful accomplishment. So I was proud to be part of the early one. I believe I was the first outside director. So there was faculty directors then, and then they hired an uh, administrative person from the outside. I started in January 6, 1992, and I, I left in uh, August 12th, 1998. But it was a great time. I came from the outside. I had worked at uh, a steel company for a while, and then I worked at uh, Pritzker Corporation here in town for quite a while, and then we started having some financial problems and the direction of the business wasn't clear. And I was working with Tom Sparrow. He was my uh, major professor. Tom came to me and he says, you need to do a PhD. And I said, no, I'm gonna stay in business in that. And you know, he says, oh no, you gotta come over and do it. And I said, well, I can't do it on grad student wages. And Tom said, oh, we'll find a position for you. And I said, like doing what? So he sent me the uh, listings. And of course, back then there was no internet or anything, so you really, it was a lot harder to find a job. He sent me one and I saw it and it looked kind of interesting and I talked to him about it and he said, yeah, you should probably apply for that. And so I did, and uh, make a long story short, I got hired with it. I had no idea what a center was or any of that, but I had worked for most of the companies that were funding the center and that. So I think that was probably one of the things and why Herb kind of liked me or whatever. He said, you know, he, he knows these companies and what they do, which was helpful. It was a lot of fun. I really had no idea what you know the academic centers were about and how to do that. But uh, it was it was quite interesting. You know, we had a lot going on back then, and uh, obviously, uh, you know, Herb was a great influence. Jumped right in, and uh, I remember Dennis Widenauer was the dean at that time. And first day on the job, you know, after like 45 minutes or whatever, went downstairs to meet him, and he had a big folder on his desk, and he said, "Here, this this is yours." And so I opened it up and. We were invited by Motorola. There was a very large initiative across the country where companies were pairing up with universities. And uh, Purdue got paired up with Motorola, and I was to run that. They were inviting 100 faculty members to come up to Motorola's headquarters in June. So this was January when I started, and to spend a week learning about how Motorola did their quality things. And we were supposed to integrate that in the university. You know, this wasn't a Cranard initiative, it was university-wide, but Cranard was running it. So Dennis gave it to me, and you know, that was a great thing to get us started and get, get our name out, at least outside the university. But uh, I got a good feel for how faculty work and think, and that to get a hundred of them from, it was basically technology, engineering, and business was the bulk of them, and we had about, maybe 10% was administrative people from uh, food services and housing, and uh, the bursar's office was represented. But uh, that was a lot, of, a lot of fun there, and we got uh, a lot of mileage out of that, still using some of that uh, material today. That was a lot of fun, but I uh, got in really quickly and figured out how, you know, how to do things, and it's just like any other job, it was relationship building is really what it was. That was what I thought my role was, simply to be there, and when people you know, wanted to know what we did or what we could do or, or thought about doing or just to answer any random thing that came by and decide whether to pursue it or to, uh, you know, pass it on or, you know, just basically not do it. So that was really it.